And ladies and gentlemen, we are here with more than 100 people representing organizations. We only have still 100 members. So this afternoon, today is your chance to also align the alliance so that we can show that it is a growing alliance, a growing baby. And this baby could not have been born without the support of our food and agriculture organization of the UN, the FEO. And it's my real pleasure to give the floor to Dr. Jose Graciano da Silva, Director General of the FEO, to address us and to bring this journey further. You have the floor, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to represent the FAO at the inaugural meeting of the Global Alliance for Climate Smart Agriculture. FAO introduced the concept of climate smart agriculture in 2010. Since then, we have been benefit from many inputs from partners, civil society, scientists, and we believe that we will be able to benefit even more with this alliance now. This is a living concept. We are under construction and we hope to get your inputs uh, very soon. I'm happy to see that this idea has gained uh, many support partners from international organization, governments, small scale farmers, NGOs and so on. We need these qualitative efforts, joint commitment and action to overcome the challenge we face today, in particular ending hunger and overcoming the impacts of climate change. Agriculture must play an important role in this effort. As you know, the sector emits greenhouse gases and at the same time is affected by the climate change. But we must recognize that agriculture systems are very diverse and very different affected. We cannot be trapped into one size fits all solution. We need to look for context specific solution developed with participation of key stakeholders, especially the poor farmers. It's also important to keep in mind that the world already produces enough food today to feed all the population. According to our estimatives in FAO, we could feed 12 billion people and we still have 800 million going hungry every day. And there is no reason why we should not be able to increase production and feed the population expected to achieve 9 billion people by 2050. However, we need to keep our options open and look at different alternatives to feed the world and reduce pressures on the environment. In other words, we need to do more with less. We need to save and grow, as we used to say in FAO. This is an effort that must be based on science and not on inflammed ideological discussions. We need to channel our passion into finding the best solutions to feed the world now and in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, governments and local communities need to choose the ways forward that best respond to their needs. We are here to help them. The Alliance is one of the possibilities for this way forward. To really make a change, we have to increase our cooperation and develop a broad partnership to share knowledge, strengthen national and regional capacities, mobilize research, and integrate the approach in long-term agriculture development plans and investment frameworks. FAO has been part of a dialogue which led to the creation of the Global Alliance. We are ready to continue supporting the Alliance following the request of our members. 
As I said before, there are different ways forward to sustainable development, and we need to explore all different alternatives. Climate smart agriculture is one of them, and acting together, we can make it one of you can come and we can make it one of it. You can count on FAO for that. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Director General, for your active role and also for hosting the Secretariat of the Global Alliance. Thank you so much.